So in a couple of days, this moon sitting behind me will be full. And great things happen on full moons. I think it's so beautiful that I could sit out here on this bench and just listen to the animals. For some reason, I don't know why this morning I felt like I felt, I heard even more. Like they were just coming out of the woodworks. Like I, I believe it when I hear these stories about different animals coming into random communities and neighborhoods because it's like they're free to roam. There really aren't people scaring them away. It's like for so many years we had to stay in our homes and now that you are staying in your homes we can be free it's like the roles are reversed and i think that's beautiful i think it's time for us to let them do what they want to do i think it's time for them to do what they want to do <laughs> I mean, you can hear them. I don't know if you heard it in that little bit of silence, but it's just a beautiful night. I, I love that the weather is changing. I love that everybody's in their homes when I'm out. I love that I can enjoy the peaceful vibes out here. There's very few people out or walking. I think I've seen like three people in the last hour and a half that I've been sitting out here. Can you hear that? That's so dope, man. I really just wanna encourage everybody to get outside as much as you can. I know I say this all the time, but it's really just something to being out here. It's it's surreal, It's it seems fake. It's like, you can see the different layers. I watched Interstellar the other day and I was watching this movie and I'm like, yo, the three, dimensional world is something crazy like we don't even understand its power we don't understand the power that we have we don't understand what we can do with our minds and knowing that the full moon is coming knowing that we can manifest our realities knowing that we can do whatever it is that we say we could put our minds to knowing that we have everything that it is that we need to get to the next level surrounding us it's just a matter of you getting up and stop being lazy and actually doing it and so be it and so be it so many people have filed for unemployment. I just read 7 million people. And it's another article that I read. It said that only $1,200 is going to be given to the average American. And that's one week's salary. One week. But yet most months have three and sometimes five weeks. What are you supposed to do with that one-time payment? And it's like, I'm a hustler. I'm going to work. I'm going to always do whatever I have to do to get a bag. But there are some people who really don't even have the ambition to get up and get out of the bed, let alone to get a bag, because their bag was taken away from them. These are now the times to reinvent yourself spiritually. This is not, this is way beyond a biological warfare. This is spiritual warfare at its finest, because these are the moments where the collective is going to actually separate these are the moments where you're going to either be made or broken. Either you're going to have to rise up or get left. You're either going to be completely depressed or you're going to be a light worker. Like, it's, it's just going to be completely different. Everything is about to change for the way that we know it. And you have to do something about that right now. You have to do something that's going to push you and propel you into the future. Because right now we're setting up for 2021 we all thought that 2020 was going to be a year of excellent this and that and if you don't think that it is then something's wrong you have to understand the patriarchal society had to be broken down for in order for us as entrepreneurs in order for us as light beings in order for us as light bearers to rise up because there can't be two owners there can't be two leaders there can't be two governments there's only one and that's why they're pushing so hard for this nwo because it's like if you are trying to be a government and you think that you're the head honcho, it's not going to work. So, of course, the United States has to go through this 
because they have to realize that enough is enough. You're only a country for 400 years and you really think you had the balls to shut down everybody? Oh, okay, we'll show you. And and I'm not even trying to get too biblical on you, but here's the thing about it. In the Bible, they talk about the king of the north and the king of the south. I remember when I was a kid, I always said, yeah, China is going to be a world super leader, super power, D, all of the above. And here we are. Is that not what's about to happen? Is that not what's happening? They're about to call all the shots. And if you don't think so, I don't even know what to tell you. So now as a leader, now as somebody who's listening to this video, because that means that you have some type of spiritual enlightenment, it's time for you to rise up. It's time for you to start doing your own business. It's time for you to push yourself into that next dimension, into that next realm, into that next future of I'm the leader of my community because it's your responsibility to teach others how to survive now. It's a lot. It's a lot to even remain positive. My cousin just posted up a video and saying the same exact thing. It's a lot, bro. I'm sitting out here because I was jump roping and I like to watch the sun down go down and jump rope it's just therapeutic for me and then i don't know why i'm obsessed with seeing the sun and the moon out at the same time i think it's fire so it's like you know i come out here to watch the sun go down i come out here to see the moon shine by brighter and then i love watching the stars come out at the same time right now there's like somebody's planet right here i don't even know who but it's beautiful and it's like you know i'm over here petting trees and jumping rope and listening to nip and i'm like you know what i'm gonna have to do what i want to do by any means necessary i'm in a peaceful state i was watching annalise keating earlier she's a nut job but i love the way that her mind works and it forces me to be on my toes even more you know i just got off a conference call with my crew and they're like yo you're about to be a regional director all you need is one more customer and i'm like what i need one more customer D? i just talked to 200 people this week not one person was like yeah let's join your business but that's cool i'm not gonna give up because at the end of the day i gotta do what's best for me and mine i'm still gonna get a bag and i'm still gonna get a customer and miraculously i'm gonna wake up and have it you know what i mean like i'm just manifesting all of this stuff to happen and you have to understand that I'm gonna always keep going and I'm always going to encourage you to keep going. I don't care what the circumstances may be. No matter what is going on in the physical, it cannot also be going on in the spiritual. It's two different worlds. It's two different worlds. Whatever goes on inside of here, whatever goes on inside of here will naturally reflect my surroundings and that is why i'm able to come out here and jump rope with 3,000 mosquitoes everywhere that is why i'm able to sit here and watch the sun going down that is why i'm able to enjoy my space and my tranquility that is something that people cannot take away from me right now i don't care what's going on outside of this community literally i could drive outside right now and shit could be so real it could be a whole war outside but i don't know that and i don't care Right now, I don't care. What's important to me right now is me finish watching this sunset, me watching this moon shine brighter, me being able to see that it's going to be full in a couple of days, making sure my crystals are still in the window so that they're getting charged by the sun and the moon. Like, I don't even care about much right now. I just care about getting the regional director. I just care about uplifting my community. I just care that I woke up, I wake up every single morning. I'm going to wake up again. You know what I mean? Like by the grace, but I just gotta keep going. It's not about anyone or anything. Tomorrow's worries will be there tomorrow. Why do I care about that right now? Like I said, the homie said to me one time, the realest shit I ever heard in my life. He was like, I'm like, so what you got planned for tomorrow? I don't know. Tomorrow's tomorrow. I'll wait for it when it happens. When I wake up and whatever it is, then that's what it's gonna be. That should change my life because that's exactly what I think about. Yeah, I have plans. Yeah, I know I have two conference calls to get on on Saturday. Yeah, 10 a.m. I got one too. You know what I mean? 10, 12, 8 p.m. Like I know that I'm going to be working. I know that for Saturday. But today, I'm enjoying the sun setting. I'm enjoying these purple and blue hues. 
I'm enjoying these pink cues. I'm enjoying the stars shining. I'm enjoying sitting on this bench listening to all these foreign animals in the woods. I'm enjoying petting trees. I'm enjoying jumping rope. I'm enjoying breathing this air, whatever it may be. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying the moment. It's real out here, bro. It's about to even get more real out here. You know, I'm grateful to report that one of my best friends is alive and well and she beat the virus. And now, you know, I'm sending my blessings out to other family members who are suffering from it. You know, as long as we're able to keep our vibrations high and sending positive energies and prayers, if that's what you do out, then we are in unison and we are one in our thoughts and dreams and co collectively come together to uplift the community. And that's what we really need to do no matter what. Just stay, stay positive, keep your thoughts positive. Yeah, it's okay to talk about these things because we're sharing it and we're talking it, about it with our families. But at the end of the day, your spiritual self has to be a one. Because like I said, this is not a physical attack. This is a spiritual attack. You gotta think about it. If you're living in fear and believing that bad things are gonna happen to you, they will. It is the law of attraction. My aunt keeps saying to me, like, yo, this virus is not going to be affected by anything. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, vice versa. I'm not going to be affected by this virus. And I'd be like, word, me either. You know what I mean? Like, I completely stand in agreement with that. So when you have that mindset that nothing is going to actually affect you, then it's not. You know what I mean? Your thoughts, your mind, what you speak they all have to line up and be in agreement. You know what I mean? It's just like if you're on a spiritual journey and you're trying to meditate, you're doing yoga, you're doing I am affirmations, but everything that comes out of your mouth is completely negative. It's not gonna line up and be one. You know what I mean? Like somehow, some way it all has to line up. It all has to tie out. You're constantly, everything has to be in alignment everything has to be in agreement in order for things to manifest the way that you want it to be if it's not going to be that way then what do you expect for it to happen you know what i mean it's like the universe is waiting for you because your next blessing is around the corner contingent upon you everything comes down to you and your mind state and your spiritual state and what it is that you're able to project and I know my life started to change once I changed my thoughts and my vibration and like I said those frequencies really really help because it changed me and I'm probably more racheta now <laughs> than I ever was before. I speak my mind so freely and that's because I don't care to protect people's feelings anymore. No one was thinking about my feelings and protecting me ever. Everybody always did what was best for them. And here I am just trying to always keep the peace. You know what I mean? Like always trying to make sure that everybody was happy. And don't get me wrong, I sometimes still do that because nobody wants to see someone intentionally hurt. But when I know that I'm gonna be deliberately hurt in the process by acting accordingly, it's not gonna fucking happen. You you got me fucked up, sir, ma'am. It's just not gonna happen. So during this process, yeah, it's important to be positive, but don't be foolish. If your intuition tells you something is not right, it's not right. Don't ask anybody. Don't second guess it. Don't do any of this crazy bullshit. <sighs> but let me go. I smell like a boy. Yo, this moon, bro. Can you see how bright it is? You really can't even see it. It's fire. But I'm out. Love you guys.